Welcome to this QuickBooks Online tutorial for beginners 2019. My name is Matt Holtquist with the QuickBooks University. And in this video, what I want to do is show you how to set up and use recurring transactions. Okay, so a pretty common use of recurring transactions, you can set them up for pretty much anything in QuickBooks Online. But a pretty common use is, you know, you have uh, transactions that come in monthly uh, or, you know, weekly or whatever the, the timetable is. Uh, that you need to record in QuickBooks and it just makes it easier for these to come in automatically. Okay, so these are usually going to be fixed things like um, let's say that you have uh, a certain expense uh, that just gets taken directly out of your checking account each and every month. You know, it could be rent, it could be, um, you know, some kind of bill that you have in the business. And it's, it's best if this is a uh, the same amount every month. Uh, that way you don't have to worry about entering this into QuickBooks. Okay. All right. So let's go up here. We're going to go to the gear icon and I want to show you over here. You choose recurring transactions. Okay. So you'll see there are some templates here, uh, monthly building lease and, and telephone bill. Okay. Type scheduled bill every month. All right. And it's got the next date, the customer, the vendor, and the amount. All right, so when you're in this screen, these are all the recurring transactions that are here. You can click this drop down and you can duplicate, duplicate, use it, enter it, delete it, okay? But what we wanna do is we wanna set up a new one. Okay, so first off, I click the new button. You gotta select the transaction type. So if this is a bill that you're gonna get every month, you're gonna do that. But you can see you can enter a lot of different things here. All right, so what we're going to do in this video is we're going to choose expense. Okay, so let's say OK. And it's going to ask us to set up a template. Okay, so let's say that this is, um, I know there was one in there for the lease, but let's call this rent. Okay, you can make this scheduled. Okay, it can remind you or unscheduled. Okay, so what unscheduled means is that there's no timetables and you use them as needed. Okay, so you control it, you go in and you enter it as needed. It's a template, but you tell QuickBooks when to enter it. Now, scheduled is going to automatically do it. Okay, so for this, because let's say this is something that comes out of the checking account automatically every single month, we're just going to say zero. Now, if this was a bill, we'd probably put it in, you know, say five days in advance, whatever you want QuickBooks to do for you. All right. So next we're going to choose the payee. Okay. So uh, we're just going to pick one here. Let's say that the vendor is Pam sites and we pay rent to her every month and the account is checking because it's going to come out of there. So interval. Okay. Monthly. Okay. So you can choose, but this is going to be monthly rent on the first day of every one month. Okay, so you can change it if it was every two months, you know, quarterly, whatever the case may be. Okay, so the start date, let's say that we're gonna start this February 1st, all right? End date, none. You can put in an end date if you want to. And then the payment method is going to be, uh, you know, check. Um, what I always do for bank transactions that come out automatically is I will add a payment method that says EFT or debit or something along those lines. <clears throat> Excuse me, but in this case, we're going to say check. All right. So the account details. All right. So this is going to be rent expense. Let's see. We have rent or lease. Okay. You can put in a description. Monthly rent. Okay, let's say the amount is $1,500. It's not billable, there's no tax, and there's no customer we're associating this with. Okay, so we hit save template. All right, so now you see we have rent. This comes out automatically every month. The next date is February 1st for to Pam for $1,500. And that's it. All right. So this is a quick and easy way. If you have a lot of transactions that come out uh, automatically, you can set these up. Or if you have bills or deposits, whatever the case may be, you can set up these recurring transactions. It'll make your life a lot easier in QuickBooks Online. Now, one thing to note, if you are using the bank feeds uh, and this transaction downloads from the bank, you will have to match it 
to this, okay? So this will, the rent will automatically be entered into QuickBooks on the first of the month. And then when the bank feed comes in, it should match to this transaction. Of course, in the bank feeds, you want to make sure that if for some reason the bank feed comes through before this gets entered, okay, you want to make sure that this is entered and then you match it. Or you can, um, you know, just, just delay that bank feed transaction until this is entered. And the reason is, is because if you enter the bank feed first and show it as an expense, and then this automatically gets put in, it's going to double your expense. All right. So you just got to pay attention to that. All right. So for more training, head on over to QuickBooks University. We've got three videos over there for, with QuickBooks Online with the typical mistakes that uh, most people make in QuickBooks Online. And as a member of the QuickBooks University, uh, I answer your personal QuickBooks questions uh, through a private Facebook group we have set up through a forum that has questions and answers going back to 2011 plus email. So uh, head on over there. Look forward to seeing you there, qbuniversity.org.